Greetings everyone, thank you for joining me, my name is Nick and this time round we're having a look at a review on the Game Boy Advance, it's E.T. the Extraterrestrial, published by New Kid Company in 2001 and based on the very successful film directed by Steven Spielberg in 1982. Music on that one was by John Williams, who's fantastic, also did the music for Star Wars, but the music uh, for him isn't replicated in this game, probably some sort of licensing thing. So we're, the music leans towards that, but it's not actually uh, that. So in this game, you must save E.T. from government agents, because he's crash landed on Earth, assemble a transmitter so he can phone home, phone home, and then arrange for him to be picked up by his spaceship. So yeah, I think this aimed more at kids, this one. This first level, we're, a, a, we're an alien botanist and we must collect plants. Yeah, I'm not sure this is Earth or not, probably is. We must collect samples and return to the ship. E.T. was to uh, he was to appear in Star Wars The Phantom Menace, so his failure is complete. Right, here we go. Uh, we got to pick up 16 flowers. Um, 16 seems a bit excessive. Why can it have been like 5? Anyway, let's go around the map. Graphics of E.T. doesn't look too bad. What am I saying? It does look a bit iffy. Music is okay. Uh, flowing river, that's nice. Um, could get boring quite quickly here. Yeah. So there's the spaceship. Let's go and collect these plants and presumably we have to avoid those frogs and those beetles. Right, okay. I think there's energy level represented by E.T. on the top left, I think. Or top right, I should say. Um, yeah, the collision detection on this is a bit weird. Feels a little bit clunky, and the path to the plants isn't great. Um, this is a bit iffy. Anyway, let's just keep playing. Gameplay at the moment feels a little bit frustrating. Those bugs moving in a random position, but that, maybe that's where your skill comes involved. So essentially in stage one, we must wander around these woods collecting flowers. Was that in the film? I don't think it was. There's my ship there. It must buzz off at some point. Go E.T. Some people used to think at school where I went that E.T. stood for eat toast, but it wasn't. It's extraterrestrial, which means alien. They meet up with a kid called Elliot, which um, his real name is Idiot, I think. Uh, and then they get a speak and spell and somehow turn that into a transmitter that can send signals thousands of light years across the uh, time and space. Not sure how that works. I'll have a go with an etch sketch later on. So 12 flowers to collect. Left, 11. And um, it is a bit of a maze. This, the, the trees stop you getting from where you need to get to. Surely all these plants are the same, so E.T. can just use the DNA from one and just return to his ship. I, I think he's a Wally Wombat. Yeah, the gameplay on this so far is quite poor. Um, now I do have some password jumps for other levels, so we'll see how it plays if it um, varies at all. But as a kid, I don't think I would have played this very long. If I got it for Christmas, I probably would have played it about once. At the moment, I'm a little bit bored, but maybe this is just to get you warmed up. Sounds quite decent. Uh, I don't like the way when you crash into the enemy, they flash as if they're invincible for a while, but EC isn't invincible, he just loses more strength. Three difficulty levels are on normal, but you can have easy and hard as well if you want more of a challenge. It's very bland this, isn't it? Dear, dear, dear. I mean, 15, 16 flowers, that's too many. If you had it at five, that would have been a nice introduction to the game, but 16, come off it. I don't know what he's going to be doing on stage two, but there's ten levels here, so we'll, we'll, probably, do, we'll probably do two and three, maybe jump to the last one. See if it varies at all. E.T. a good film, not particularly a good game. I do know there was a version of E.T. that came out on some Atari systems where they produced too many uh, and, and then they, they buried it as landfill because they just could, could get rid of them all. Um, so that's a sign of a good game, isn't it? When it ends up in landfill. I don't know if this is similar to those, but this isn't very good. So maybe it is. E.T.'s colouring does uh, get more and more grey as he's he nearer to death. Four, four plants to get, then we can get out of here. Energy is flashing on the top right. Seems to get more energy when we collect those flowers. Three left. We might get it, we might not, but there's killer frogs about. Now, E.T.'s travelled in a UFO many thousands of light years, possibly from another galaxy, and he hasn't got anything that can kill frogs and bugs. 
Why is that? Maybe some spray would have been better. We've even got that on Earth. Surely a flamethrower would have got rid of those frogs. Or maybe he's a bit of a Buddhist. E.T. Phone up. Now he does say a few things in later levels, I think. Oh god, I want to get out of this game as soon as possible. This channel is about reviewing the good games, the bad games, and the medium games, and this this is bad. This is way bad, right. Uh, one flower left to get. If we can get round these bugs, which I'm sure we can't do. Stamp on them, E.T. We need the help of idiot, Elliot. Duh, 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 duh. Where's the flower? Now, presumably, we need to get back to the ship. Oh, he's dead. I think, or at least unconscious. E.T. has been captured by the agents. Eat toast. Duh, 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 duh. Uh, do you want to try again? No, not on this level. I want to get out here as quickly as possible. We'll try a few passwords that I've got written down uh, and then jump, but we won't dwell on this. This won't last hours because I, I, I'm not impressed. Presentation here. I like this screen. That's good. Music is okay. Um, gameplay so far is frustrating, difficult, boring and clumsy. If you disagree with me and you love this game, then put your comments below because I do like uh, hearing everyone's uh, views. But the, the level design was frustrating with those trees. Hopefully level 2 is much different to level 1. Duh, 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 duh. In this level you play as E.T. I think you can play as Elliot at some point then. I wouldn't mind playing as Drew Barrymore as she is now. While collecting the samples, your crew were disturbed and the ship was taken off, leaving you stranded. Well, that's how the film goes. We need to path out the forest and collect various items for new energy levels. So this is when he gets out of the forest and he gets in contact with his friend, Idiot Elliot. Right, so we need to find a way out of here. Um, there's no bugs about... Now, don't... don't. Why didn't his friends do an inventory? So, is everyone aboard? At least call the register, but no, they just took off and left E.T. behind. Stupid aliens, and didn't have any bug spray either. Um, we might skip this one as well. Can't find the way out the woods. Is it here? Maybe a jetpack ET. He hasn't got any clothes on either. Maybe clothes are just worn by humans, perhaps. Duh, duh, duh. Jolly music, which doesn't really underline the uh, the nature of the seriousness that ET's been stranded on an alien planet, and we now know that alien planet is Earth. There was never an ET2, was there? Well, not that I'm aware of. Was there an ET2? Let me know. I expect they might do. I mean, it, we're in a time of loads and loads of reboots, so no doubt someone will probably uh, have a go at ET2. Hopefully there won't be a game called ET2, because as we can see here, it's not great. Right, we need to get out of here. Jolly music as it is. Dear, dear, diddly, dear. Find your way out the woods. Yeah, let's get out of here. What's the button I need to press on this thing? Select. Duh, 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 duh. Goodbye, E.T. Quit. Yes, I'm I'm very, very sure. I've never been more sure in my life. Right, where's the, let's check another password code. Let's have a look at level three. Right, okay, right. Up, down, left, shoulder buttons. Right, okay, let's get this right here. These are tricky to do, these. Da 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 The extraterrestrial. He's an extra one. Do you remember when there's some ET creatures in the Phantom Menace? Uh, I think it was in the uh, the Senate scene when it's all taking a vote. So he's from a galaxy far, far away. In this level, you play both as ET and idiot. Da da. He's got big hands, hasn't he? Right, I've got to find all the parts to build a transmitter to help E.T. phone home. And this is when he starts talking this level, I think. These parts are shown as tokens. Uh, so I think they'd be coins. There's E.T. Uh, out on the town looking quite sexy there. If that's what you're into. Right, there's Idiot and E.T. Here we go. We need to find uh, items which are really coins. 16 of them again. Uh, and the frogs are back. They do like 16, don't they? What's with this town and the frogs? Killer frogs everywhere! Oh god, E.T. went into one there. Uh, see if we can get him to do that again. He has done it again. I think I think you need him on the screen. Let's try and lose him. Oh god, I wanna lose E.T. He's frustrating me. He's really cramping my style. Oh there's an item. Right. Oh I thought it was gonna go down from 16 to 15 then. Why didn't it go down? 
Ouch. Right, okay. It's in the start. Right, you're blocking my way out, E.T. Back off. E.T. Oh, God. Let's have to go this way round. Right, okay. Oh, he's bumped into a lawnmower, which for some reason's in the house. Door is locked. Might need a key. Or oh, it might be a red herring. Oh, look, there's a key. There we go. This bit looks like it's on the Commodore Amiga by, with that Amos controller. This this game looks very basic. You get a very um, lazy film tie-ins a lot in back in retro game, and this is just this is just one of them. It's not working as a game for me. Right, there's that thing that's turned on for reasons unknown. A remote control car. I can't take too much more. We might skip to another level here. I can hear E.T. saying stuff. Again, it stayed on 16. Right, okay, look. Let's get right, let's get my list of passwords here. Let's get out of this place. Duh, 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 duh. See you later, idiot. Elliot. Duh, 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 duh. Extra time, it can stand for. Uh. Right, okay, so level 10. Let's go to the last level. And this level, I think, is the level where the spaceship turns up to take E.T. off-world. Or maybe they'll just fly past. Now, bearing in mind there are aliens, much advanced technology than ourselves, they should have a, a proper landing mechanism, should they not. In this level, you control E.T.'s spaceship. You've got to successfully reach the landing area, uh, and then agents on their way, and time is short. Guide the spaceship softly down onto the landing pad, where E.T. will, uh, well, get on board. Right, okay. So it's a bit of inertia. We have to land this big egg thing. Oh, here we are. This looks terrible. Blue, blue uh, engine rocket stuff. Right, so land on the pad, wherever that is. Where's the engine pad? Landing pad. Right. Oh, can't we just beam them up? I mean, we landed. Oh, there they are. Hello. Well, there's the pad. We missed the pad. We need to get onto that somehow. Duh, duh. So by, by gently doing the flames, we can guide it down the Earth's... Well, the moon's looking quite big today. Oh, goodness sake. This UFO is very short, very small. I've, I've had enough of this. I've had enough of this. Um, it's creating a bit of depth here with those trees at the front and the background, but very cartoony. Stars look very twinkly. They're not real stars. Right, I need to get out of here. I'm getting out of here. I'm escaping. Let's get out of here. Well, I hope you liked having a look at that one. I sure didn't. That was E.T. the Extraterrestrial from the Game Boy Advance, published by New Kid Co. in 2001. Thanks for watching that one as always. If you've got any comments about this game, if you're used different from mine, then please put it below. Or if you agree with me, then uh, put your comments below as well. And until next time, take great care of yourself and a very fond goodbye. Goodbye.